to the channel everybody today i have this 2016 final cascadia and it's having transmission problems uh it's not a very com a very unusual problem it's a very common problem i have many different videos talking about transmission problems on dd12 transmission aromatic transmission and we are having today a truck that has a problem with the split pin but i never show in action how it's like to have a problem with a split pin and this truck seems to have that problem it comes uh, and goes away depending on the circumstances it happens mostly when the engine is completely cold but also does uh, it happens when uh, it does happen when the engine is uh, running at any in any time so if we are here inside the truck we try to put it on gear um, now it goes on gear but all of the sudden you change to a different gear and the gear doesn't go in that is a split pin problem so you have to check that sometimes you hear that it, it, it takes a while for the gear to go in the engine noise makes it so hard sometimes to hear but uh, let's see let's move it I'm gonna re reverse a little all right gear goes in so in essence if you having the problem then you have your truck and uh, you're trying to put the gear on reverse drive reverse drive and the truck only does mechanical noises I mean the transmission does only mechanical noises but you don't hear the transmission going into gear it never goes into gear only when the temperature goes high or the air pressure goes high depending depending on the circumstances but most times like when the engine is like in uh, very cold areas or the engine is not completely warm you have to wait like until it reaches probably like 120 125 uh, degrees of temperature and then the gear is gonna go in goes in that means that you have a problem with the split pin and uh, as I say I have many videos showing on how slide to replace the pin how slide to do calibrations on transmission but this time I want to show you something different then it's like the gear doesn't go in because uh, as a moment a moment before the uh, truck didn't want to get the let the gear in but now the gear goes in because the engine is warmer so it happens like that but also happens to then when you're driving uh, the the gear is on it's on gear number 12 gear number 11 and all of the sudden the gear goes to neutral the gear, gear sign on the dashboard goes to neutral that also is a split pin problem so uh, for that you have to do the process of replacing the split pin which is not easy if you don't have the tools if you don't have the experience probably you won't be able to do it but at least you know what is the cause of the problem you can take it to a shop and just say you know what i want my split pin to be replaced and if you don't know what that is you can show my video so you can buy the parts as i, as I give you uh, all the information so that way you can go directly to the source of the problem um but uh, uh let's see let's try it again if this one doesn't work working you hear it takes a while for the transmission to get the gear in Yeah, so that's what we're gonna do on this truck. We're gonna drop the transmission, we're gonna do the split pin replacement, and that should solve the problem. But of course, remember then if you're gonna do that, you also have to replace the oil, the transmission fluid, and check any areas. Sometimes you're gonna have uh, uh, wiring harnesses that are shafting with the transmission. So if you find that, just do repair it before getting the, trans the transmission on the on the truck, on the chassis, because it then it's gonna be harder. So just try to do that so you can prevent any problems. 
But as it is right now, we want to do a transmission split pitch replacement, a DT12 transmission split pitch replacement on this transmission of this uh, 2016 Flyner Cascadia. If you have a newer transmission, DT12 transmission, probably you don't need to do this because newer transmissions, they already updated. 2017, 18s, 19s, they don't need, they don't have these problems anymore. But only for early transmissions like 2014, 2016, they all have this problem because they all have the old school uh, split pin uh, setup. So that is something that you have to pay attention to it. If you get in the problem and the gear doesn't go in, okay, call the split pin, replace it, and after that you're gonna be okay. So that's all for this video right now. And any questions you can comment below you like the video like it and if you have any experiences or anything else to add to the video just comment below as well and share it with anybody that wants to learn more about this dt12 transmission that are so complicated nowadays so thank you for watching